Let us now look at while loops. Our script is now intelligent enough to give us the cause of the failure using the rocket debug command if the status is failed. Now, as we have seen, the rocket status command uh, may return one of the three stages launching, success, or failed. The state of the rocket may remain in a launching state for some time until it succeeds or fails. For a few seconds, the rocket continues to be in a launching state. The way our script is currently set up, it checks the status only once right after liftoff. There is a possibility that it may be stuck in a launching state for a while after which it may fail. And since we only check the status of the rocket once, it is not guaranteed that we catch the failures all the time. Currently, we do not consider the state where the status is launching. So uh, we need a way for the script to wait after it checks the status and if it turns out to be in a launching state, we want to continue to check the status more times until it is either successful or, or failed. Now for this, we add a new condition before the failed conditional statement to check if the status is launching. Now if it is in a launching state, then we wait for a few seconds and check again. To add a wait, use the sleep command. Now after it sleeps for two seconds, we run the rocket status command to check the status again and we record the status to the same uh, rocket underscore status variable. But how do we check to see if it's still launching after two seconds? For this, we use a conditional statement again. So we now have an if statement within the if statement where we are checking the status of the rocket. If it is still launching, then we sleep for another two seconds. Um, but what happens after that two seconds? So we use an additional conditional statement. So we now have an if statement within the if statement within an if statement where we are checking the status of the rocket. Now, if it is still launching, then we uh, sleep for another two seconds and that, that goes on. So this approach, as you can see, is not a good idea. What if the rocket takes a lot more time to finish the launch, like maybe an hour or two? Now you'll be writing a never ending set of if conditionals in your script. So you need a better solution that works all the time. No matter if the rocket takes two seconds or two hours to launch, your script should always work. Now, all of these if conditional blocks can be replaced by a single while loop. The while loop takes a conditional statement, the same one that we used for the if block, and the set of commands to execute are within the if block defined by the do and done statements, just like the for loop. So the while loop works just like the for loop, except that it executes the loop as long as the condition is true. Now with the while loop, our script is simple and will always work. When the script is now executed, it runs each line in the script. And when it hits the while loop, it checks if the status is launching. If it is not, it will skip everything under the while loop and proceeds to the if conditional. However, if it is launching, then it executes the commands within the while block. The first command is sleep, so it sleeps for two seconds, then checks the status of the rocket again and stores it in the rocket status variable, after which it goes back up and checks the status again. If it's still in a launching state, it goes back into the loop and waits for another two seconds before checking the status again. And it continues to do that until the status is not launching. Once the status changes to not launching, which in this case is failed, it breaks out of the loop and proceeds to the rest of the script. So you would typically use a while loop when you have to execute a command or a set of commands multiple times. But unlike a for loop, you're not sure how many times the loop must run in advance. The loop must run until a specific condition is met. In our example, it was until the launch was successful or failed. We didn't know if the launch would take two seconds, 10 seconds or, or two hours. Now, as long as the launch is in a launching state, we want the script to wait. The while loop is also typically used to create infinite loops or menu driven programs. So here are some real life examples. Here's a while loop that runs infinitely because the condition is set to a static value of true. Now within uh, the while loop, we print a simple menu which has three options. The first one is to shut down the system, the second one is to restart, and the third to exit the menu driven program. We then read an input from the user to a variable called choice using the read statement that we uh, saw before. And then we then check the status with a set of if statements. If the choice is one, 
then we shut down the system. And if it's two, then we restart the system. And if it's three, we run the uh, break statement. Now, the break statement in a loop, whether it is a for loop or a while loop, breaks the program out and exits the loop. This can be handy when working with infinite loops like this. Another similar statement is the continue statement. Instead of breaking out and exiting the loop, the continue statement takes the execution back to the beginning of the loop. So in this case, if a user inputs, say, a number that is not uh, 1, 2, or 3, then it goes here into the continue uh, statement. And when it hits the continue statement, the execution goes back all the way to the first, uh, to the beginning of the loop.